Tableau Drill Through is a powerful feature that helps users to drill through to any other section in the dashboard to see more details. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you five different ways that you can use in Tableau to drill through. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about how to set up action filters and to create hierarchy fields. Also, how we can use worksheets in the tooltip to show the detailed view and use navigation button to navigate to the different workbook or worksheets. And last but not the least, how to use set actions to show drill down in a tablet dashboard. So without any further delays, let's get started. Welcome back. This is Gurpreet from DataWiz Canvas. And in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about five different ways we can use in Tableau to drill through. So we'll be talking about all these action filters, hierarchy, worksheets, navigation buttons, and drill down using set actions. For that, first of all, we need to create a drill through page or a dashboard. And in this case, we'll be using the sample Superstore da dashboard, which is provided by Tableau. So as you can see, the dashboard is already there, but I will open a blank Tableau desktop and we'll show you how to come to the screen. So let's open a Tableau desktop and this is how the blank Tableau desktop initial landing page will look like. So these are the sample workbooks present at the bottom. So we will pick up the first one. So we will simply click on that and the workbook will appear. So once we click on that, you can see the Tableau workbook in a few minutes. And once it's there, so we have the canvas ready, which will have the dashboard and the Tableau worksheet pages already there. So while it loads, I will simply go to this section and I will show you what I meant by that. So once it's loaded, it will look something similar to this one. And I have particularly changed the background color in this dashboard to black because I like dark backgrounds. And when you open it through Tableau desktop landing page, it will be white background. That will be the only difference. So looking at the first step, so how we can achieve it. So the first thing is to set up the action filters. So by action filter, I mean, so when you click on any of these sections, all the other charts will be filtered out. So let's see, this is uh, this dashboard is showing the profitability of executive overview. And these are all the US states. So let's say we click on Nevada and you will see all the bottom charts are filtered based on that state. And it tells us the sales by segment and sales by product category for that particular state. So if we change the state to Montana, it will show you that whichever state you click, you will see the drill down happening in that way. So that's done by setting up an action filter. So how we can do that? So once the dashboard is created, these are individual worksheets. So we will simply go at the dashboard menu, click on that and go to actions. So you can also use the shortcut key in Mac, we are using, I'm using Mac, so these are the shortcut key for Mac. But if you are using Windows, you can either go it this way or you can use Windows shortcut key. So let me click on that action. So these are the actions already created, but let's say I want to create a new action. So you will simply go to add action, click on that, and there are multiple options here. And in this particular scenario, we will use a filter action. So I will click on the filter action. Once you click on a filter action, a pop-up window will appear and it will show you in the overview dashboards as you can see this dashboard is the overview dashboard which we are using here and in an overview dashboards these are the multiple worksheets and i just want in this scenario to show you an example i want this map which is sales map i selected that and i have said when i select sales map any state on the sales map update all these target sheets which are selected and I will say show all values when we uncheck that number or that state in this case, it will show all values. So it will basically revert back with original state. And you can by default use all fields or you can select a field. And in this case, if you want, we can just select the field from sample superstore data set. And I say I want a state field, right? So I can pick state and I can click OK. 
So when you click on a particular state, that field will be applied as a filter on all other sheets. So let's try that. Let's click OK. And again, let's select Wyoming. And when you click on that, it's how that particular section is filtered out. And let's go to the sheet. And you will see here on the left hand side into the filter section, these are the actions which are added. So if we just remove them as of now, you will see all of them, right? So let's go back into the overview sheet and let's select some other sheet. And you will see that will appear it here for that particular state. You can see that particular sales by product category as well as sales by segment. And if you click back again, it will bring back the original view. So that was the first way of doing the drill through. Let's move on to the second way. And in this, we will create a hierarchical field. So let me create a new worksheet. And in here, I will bring back that window and I will use sample superstore data set, which is already there. And I will create, first of all, I will create a hierarchical field. So in this case, this product field is already designed in that when you will see that hierarchy diagram icon on the left hand side. When you click on that, it have category, subcategory and product name. Let's say we want to create another hierarchic field or we want to add segment into that as well, right? So simple ways you can click on this drop down and go to hierarchy and add to hierarchy. You can add to existing hierarchy, which is location or product. So in this case, let's say I want to add it in the product. I will click that and segment will be gone under the product hierarchy section. If I don't want to do that, let me apply control Z. It's out of that hierarchy. The other way to do is it simply click on that and drag it where you want it. So simply drag it and you will see that black line appear. So I will bring it just above the category. So it's as easy as that. So let's say I will bring the product into Rochelle and then I want to see discounts, profit, sales, quantity. So you can see this table and let me make it a little bit bigger. Um, so let's let's fit it, fit the entire view, for example. You can see all of this in this way. So let's say I want to further drill down. So you can click on this positive icon and you will see it's drilled down into separate category. So consumer was the segment and then we drilled it down to category. And then I want to drill it further down. I click on this positive sign and it will show me all the subcategories, right? And I will simply say fit width because we can scroll it down. Otherwise it will be too congested. So then I want to further drill down into product name so I can do it that way. So you can see this way, all of these drill down can be achievable by just clicking on the plus and minus sign or even when you hover over to this section you will see the positive sign appearing at the top of this segment so you can click here same with category you can click here as well so that's how easy it is to just create an hierarchy with number of dimensions you want based on your requirement and it will show you the high level view and the drill down view just by clicking few buttons. So that was the second way of doing the drill through. Let's go to the third way in which we'll be showing the worksheet in the tooltip to show the details. So what I meant by that. So let's go back to our original dashboard. So in this dashboard, you see when we hover over to Nevada state, we just see the 19.8% overall profit ratio. But now I want to see the breakdown of that. Instead of clicking that, I just want to hover over. So how we can achieve that? So I will simply go to this worksheet. I will go to the tooltips and I will go to insert section here, click on insert and go to sheets. And when you go to sheets, you will see all these sheets appearing here. And now I have already created a tooltip profit ratio by city sheet. So I will simply click on that and you will see the sheet appear here. And you can change the width and height of that one. So let's say I want the width to be 600 and height to be 400. So you can adjust based on the data in your tooltip. 
and you can filter it by all fields or if you want to filter it by particular field you can give the name of that field here so that's as easy as that so click OK and when you hover over you will see that drill down is appearing so it's showing the profit ratio by city in an ascending order so whenever you hover to any of these sheet that bar chart will appear for that particular state and it will tell you how the profit ratio in that state is by city and if we go back to the dashboard the same thing will appear here and you can actually see like in Texas how the profit ratio is so that was the third way of achieving the drill through now let's move on to the next one where I will be showing you how to use navigation button to go to a drill down section or to a drill down page or even to another dashboard if you want to to see the details so same thing we will do we will go to this dashboard section on the sidebar and we will bring the navigation button you can use styled view or floating view so in this scenario I will use floating view and just to give you an example I have already created these navigation buttons at the top if you see here go to product go to customer go to shipping and go to model so just to give you an example if I click on go to button and once it's published click will work but in this case you just have to go to navigate and it will take you to the product drill down page as simple as that so how that will work I will show you just in a sec so on the left hand side in the under the object window you will see the navigation button so just click on that and drag it once you drag it this window will appear you can either double click it or you can click on the drop down and edit button once you do that you will see this window will appear right and in this window you can just say navigate to sheet whichever you want so in this case I will say I want to navigate to product window and style is text button if you want to <coughs> excuse me if you want to add your own image to the button you can do it that way and you can enter the text so we can say <coughs> go to product new and I will click OK so once that is done <coughs> the button is created and simply by clicking on that and we will say navigate <coughs> excuse me so that way like you can actually drill through and go to another section of the page um, another section of the dashboard or an individual worksheet as well so that was the fourth way and the final one is really an interesting way where you can actually use a set actions to drill down to a table and I will show you in a sec here so this is an example so <clears throat> normally most of us works with tables a lot right so this is quite a nice way where you can use set action to create this drill down feature so you can just click on individual categories and it will only show you the subcategories for that section you can use any dimensions in this case so I have another tutorial on this particular um, scenario which if you want to jump into details you can see that tutorial but for this tutorial I will just show you how it is done quickly um, for details you can refer to that dashboard and I will put the link in the description below for that tutorial as well okay so how we can achieve this so I will go to the worksheet first and in this worksheet we have just used category field and we have created few calculations so in this case we have created a calculation for categories and subcategories but before that we have to create a set for category so in this case I have already created a category set and if you don't know how to create a category set you can simply go to category right click on that and create set and you can create a category set here and you can select any one of these so let's say I've selected furniture in this case and click OK. So this is a category set which we will be using in this example. So in this category set, if I go to edit set, you will see nothing is selected because there is no drill down here. But if I select furniture here, you will see furniture will be drilled down. So that's fine. We created a set. Now we need to create simple calculation. And the 
quick tip in this case to find the calculation is just go to this funnel icon and look for calculation and it will give you all the calculation which you have already created in this dashboard so I have created categories and subcategory calculation so I will right click on categories and do edit and this calculation says if category set is selected then show me this icon else show me this icon and then concatenate it with the category so if you see here right now when we clicked on furniture category set is selected so for that how it is selected we will have to set up a set actions which I will show you in a second so once we select that category set was selected and furniture was selected in that and in that case once it's selected we will be showing you the down arrow so down arrow is shown and then we will be concatenating that down arrow with the category and in this case it's furniture and same way we will be creating a subcategory set a subcategory calculation where we'll be saying if category set is selected then give me the subcategories for that set so in this case we selected furniture so when furniture is selected I want to see all the subcategories for furniture which it is giving me here else give me null value so there is null value for office and technology office supplies and technology so that's about it so once this is done we need to create a action action filter so in the worksheet we will create an action filter and in this case I have already created action filter which looks like this which says when the sheet one is selected the data sources sample superstore and the set is category set and when we run the action assign the value to a set and when we clear the set remove all the values from a set and how to create that so let me show you an example so go to add action in the previous example I showed you how to create a action filter and in this particular scenario I will show you how to change the set value so simply go to change set value and click that and here you can give a meaningful name so here we can say drill down set action and we have said like once the sheet one is selected you select the data source and in this case sample superstore data set and the set name is category set this is another set which we created just as an example to show you but we will select category set and we will say when running this action well assign the value to a set and once we clear the selection it will remove all value from the set so that's what we need we will click ok and the same thing when you click on that it will just show you that section and we have brought category calculation from here to here and subcategory calculation and we had category drill down here so initially it was showing as this one which was showing the headers but I have just made it hidden because I don't want that field to be shown I only want my category and subcategory calculated fields to be shown here so these are the five easy and simple way which we can use to drill through in Tableau I hope you guys enjoyed this session and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so 